again guys, back out on another adventure, me and my partner in crime, Sambo, and we've been dropped off in Tamworth again, we've walked a little bit, and then we come across a, a spot that in the summer would be brilliant, but because of the floods and more weather that we're expecting, we're not going to stay yet, because this is where we would have stayed, nice open spot, all woodland, but then the river has turned into the ocean. I don't know if the camera will show out there. But it's across all the fields as well. It's all in here. And it goes on. And I don't want to... It's supposed to be the other side. That's where it starts. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Far side of that. <laughs> well, I bought my big 4x4 tarp and I'm going to do a tarp tent, hopefully. But I've also bought my hammer, just in case. Because if we do get flooded out, it's only Sambo that's getting washed away. I'll be swinging in my hammock watching him. Help me! So yeah, I'm not doing no fishing. I think you bought a rod, haven't you? Just in case we sit somewhere. Just in case you're chill and have some stuff or something. But my aim is to uh, get a nice fire going and cook up some nice stuff tonight. And I'm doing something a little different. I bought different alcoholic beverages. And I'm going to do some beer reviews. I'm going to join that club and review some beer. Alright, I think we found a nice little spot. So I'm just doing a little chuck in this bit of swollen river. But the only thing we've got concerns of is obviously, I'll show you around in a minute, but that's epic behind us. There'll be loads of animals in here tonight, including us. But we're worried if we do get the downfall that we're promised. That river from there, obviously, this should be just dead land. The river ain't, it don't start until the opposite side of that island, just along that. But it's obviously swollen and it's come all in here, creating this. I don't want to get my head down, slightly intoxicated, and wake up and my new inflatable bed has become a, a pool bed. But all this behind us, look at that. And I'll tell you what, it's a track to get in there. We'll hear someone coming down here. We will. But this is the main path we're coming. What doing? And you got loads of other channels up To where we are. But this is a big flat ground. So I could have, well, I'm spoiled for choice. I could throw my hammock up. Or I could grind well. I mean, that looks like a nice spot here. And I wake up. Have it here. And then that'll be my view. Out, out to sea. There's Sambo's over there. Mate, this could work, you know. This really could work. I mean, look at the size of some of these trees, mate. Right, well, I think we've made our minds up, haven't we, mate? Yeah. The ground's perfectly flat. The fast flowing river is far out there. And this seems like it's either just a, a back channel or it's just always been here because it just goes on it's like a that's an island there all that's the island so i think this may already be here like a back eddy sort of thing so we got plenty of flat ground to choose from and i'm gonna throw up my basher and then sambo's gonna look and see if he likes it. he's gonna get in with me tonight and we're gonna spoon what's wrong with you mate what have you taken me into so <laughs> i'm gonna get camp cell and then we'll bring you back How quick was that? Camps up. Sambo thinks I'm speaking to him. <laughs> and we're sharing. That's my side. Sambo's side. And I'm rocking a, quite a bit of new gear. I got my new inflatable mat. Sleeping bag. Uh, and bivy bag. And pillow. And pillow. I forgot about my pillow. Sam's lying on a tent in a tent. Yeah, Loving life. And we've gone for the tarp tent with the 4x4 because there's bags are there is bigger than the rampant bivy but uh, I've stuck a stake in the ground to see if the water comes any higher and if it does well and the half an hour to bug out the it so we've got some drinkage down there which I'll show you later and beverages my new chair I thought I'd get out of blast on this trip. 
Oh well, I've got a kitchen over here. Gas bag. My water. And I'm thinking I'm going to dig a fire pit. Around here somewhere. So it's close to the water. I bought me a... Uh, army entrenching tool. So I'll be able to dig that out. But there's loads of people walking in the distance because the canal is literally 150 yards just up there and there's people walking up and down up and down effing and jeffing there's barges going past but luckily enough we picked the right time because of it being a well, no, winter losing the tree canopy fast but there's still as you can see maximum cover for the time of year so plus i'm using the multicam anyway so that'll be all right i'm gonna do a few a few adjustments on that I don't know if you, but that's our view when we're lying in the uh, tarp tent. I'm going to have some lunch in a minute, I think. Have a drink. Pop, not alcohol, just yet, Gemma. Don't show us. Oh. I hope the camera picked that up. That's our alarm clock. So set, chilling now. Might well, go and have a wander in a bit. Oh mate, it's good to have a chair, you know. <laughs> the old back. Right, managed to get a little bit of firewood for now. Gonna start processing this. Sambo's gone out and he's gonna have a scavenge round. And an old couple, I think they're just on a walk back from town or whatever. They've come down the path behind us. Um, and Sam says that they never saw him all the set up. So that's always good news, eh? So I'm going to process this up, get some piles, here comes the bad weather, so I'm going to get the camera under the tar, because it's not waterproof. Alright, I'll get this done then we'll bring you back once we've dug the fire pit and got the wood ready. Alright, got some wood processed, got my small stuff started off with, grab the building up. My fire pit and drag the coals to one side to cook my uh, dinner. Put it out there, it's still a bit damp, but I want to dry it as best I can and then feed it through the fire. So we will get more firewood, but this is the island there that we want to have a little look at. This is where that's going to run into the toilet. We've got a bad belly, or I had a bad belly. Right. Right. Like I tell you the truth anyway. <laughs> Just look for the big wipes. Nah, mate. Come on, I ain't that common. I did hide. Look at it. This would be perfect to run. Look. Big square. You got back there. This would have been... I mean, it's a bit soft, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's saturated. But in the summer, though, because this was still as clear. And you're more hidden. Because we've had a few... I've had a black Labrador. I'm running into the uh, basher and try to steal me sandwiches. Yeah. Nice. He got off. That bird then he flew off, man. Oh, it's all saturated, yeah. Nice big down tree there, though. Might be no good with firewood. Let's see if we can get to it though. Nah, fuck that. I mean, excuse me, I ain't going there. I'll lose a shoe there. Yeah, this is, this is it's gonna sink eventually, I mean, look at all of there. Straight through. I don't think this is floods water, you know, Sam. Oh, right, there's a bit of flood water in there. At one point. Well, that could just be the rain that we've had. I don't know, it's hard. Do you know what I'll have to do? Turn that now, because Google Maps is uh, updated, isn't it? Have you seen the fish? Frog. Mate, stick on a spit road. Mr. Kermit for lunch. Oh. But yeah, what a place, man. Oh, you're still not out in there. Complete wilderness. We're still gonna have human contact, but we can't out there. We can't. 
We have got something in the park going for after Christmas next year. And that's going to be a, an adventure. Hey, sticklebacks in the puddle. No, it is, is that? Yes, it must have flooded up then. Our little camp. I love it, Ada. All these trees, the size of the camera won't do it justice, but they're big. They are. Our little island camp. I love it. Pop you there. You okay in that? Yeah, good. Oh, God. Getting old, Sarge. Tell you what, this chair. Well, happy with it. Can't wait to be sat around tonight in front of the fire with a cold one. Catching my breath from reality. Then with my mucku and all. My good old pal Sambo. <sighs> nice little find, isn't it? Nice little spot. It is. And if this water is like this in the summer, I might come and chuck out. I rod myself, and it in the summertime. Yeah, definitely. <coughs> That's anything that annoys me. Now. The people might not see us or find us, but the freaking dogs, dogs do. Yeah. I had my bag of sarnies down there, I was just lying on my bed. And the next thing you know, you even come bolting down there, and his face straight in my sandwich, he's telling us to go away, and not interested straight in there. Kiss your sandwich. No, I did feel a bit bad telling him to go away, but. <laughs> yeah, but you just, when you got to do this. I'm sure I didn't say, oh, Lee, you're the outdoor adventure. Give us a booty, mate. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? It's like, nah. You've got to show your sandwiches on YouTube. <laughs> oh. Right. Mate, is that the same dog? Yeah. Another bloody dog found us. I think we should swim over to that island. I'd get a three foot pass where it just can't. I'll be down there. <laughs> Go on. I'll see you at home, home, done. <laughs> now Stafford's that way. <laughs> it's a long way from there. Up the top. Up the top. That's right, man. Really. It's soft enough if you don't run after you. Oh, God. I'll tell you what, I'm still buzzing that we're in camp ourselves. I'm this part. No, they can all jog on me. But tonight, this is our woodland. Don't say it. You don't own this. This is my house. <laughs> but yeah, but now I'm glad that half an hour walk. I reckon we could cut that down to 15, 20 on a, a dry day. It's a, yeah, it's a floor. Yeah, it's just bog, isn't it? It's rough. Yeah, I'd say literally about 10 minutes from where we got to. Yeah, just a straight. Yeah, but you know what's nicer? The fact that if we was here in groups, then when Jimmy and Martin get here, yeah. we'd be like, right, we'll flick through. The loser stays there and then the rest get a pub. <laughs> Gonna have a summer's party. Yeah, <laughs> bring you. <laughs> That'd be nice. Well, do you know what? Yeah, well, we could even do that though, get chopped off there, have a couple of pints in the pub. With the missus. To eat, yeah, and then tab in. That's the problem though, you know, the couple of pints thing. Yeah. I'm camping in the ground. And I'll sleep under one of the bit behind benches. Like <laughs> 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 He's got the pub up then. Yeah, that wouldn't even use that, just crank under the bench. <laughs> That's us waffling, that's what we do then, right? Just waffle shite. Catch our breath. We'll put the wheel to right, something, mate. Oh. But i tell you what, considering, I mean, we're right opposite the Army Life Firing Range, where is that? And you're probably here in the background, they're black enough rifles, and God knows what else the boys do. But uh, it just seems like all the woodlands around here are decent, isn't it? I mean, not like where we're from, the concrete jungle. Yeah, it's because there's only a little village there though. Yeah, it's a little village. I'd love to live there, I would. I would. No, give me a chance, so I'll live here. I might build myself a cabin. Cabin. Mansion. Or build a floating one. <laughs> so, yeah. That's all I'm. Ah, oh, bless me, Papa. Getting too old for this. Me and Sambo just trying to get a bit more wood. I mean, obviously, no rush. And uh, found some nice dead wood over there. Found a saw, a bit blunt, but 
There you go, there's two swords in the cam. And then can anyone identify these horrible things? What sort of fungi is that? They're like, I don't know, it's not jelly. Yeah, it's very sure. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it didn't feel nice on my neck anyway. Carrying that back. Getting a whip really off a tree. I'm still alive, we're still here. Started prepping the fire pit. Just had a conversation with a, a gentleman walking his dogs. And uh, it was great because he's into the sort of, same sort of things while camping. He's done it in a, quite a few places around the country. And he's just giving him a bit of, a bit of advice about the river. And he does a lot of canoeing and stuff like that. Not an inflatable though. He's <laughs> got a proper canoe. Proper boat. <laughs> he's a real boatsman. So yeah. I just thought I'd run through the uh, beverages I've got tonight. This one is a Woodgate Cloudy Apple Craft Cider at 5.5%. So not an ale, but still nice to drink. 5.5%. Yeah. Let's give this one a black sir. Sam's gonna hate me because <laughs> I did have two cans but I drank one last night. Huh? And Cloudy Apple is one of his favourites, so drive by. Oh yeah, sniper shot. Well, that smells different. Oh mate. Mate. I could have bought him one but I'm nasty. It's a nice cloud that is. It's not strong bow clay, but it's as good as. It's not what it is. Mm. Made by Woodgate as well, that's hard to believe. Woodgate's normally your little fish tramp side us. 5.5%. So that was the first one, 6. Yeah, I think so. 6, 5.5. Two bottles of red. We're glad it. Right, we're going to get this fire going in a bit. Just waiting for everyone else to go home. Not that they can't see us because of this light. <laughs> we're trying to do a staff camp here. <laughs> about my speakers. <laughs> <laughs> right, I made a boo-boo. I opened another beer without reviewing it. But I did review it, just not on camera. So, drive by. <laughs> nah, I love it. <clears throat> this one is the Bitter Iron IPA. And this one's only 5.4%. Right, time to light this fire. Or attempt it anyway. I'm gonna start off with a bit of lint from my good bus out of a tumble dryer. Fluff that up. I'm gonna dash a bit of birch. Still a bit damp, but we'll see. And if not, I'm gonna be spooning. Let's try it, shall we? Alright, he said. <laughs> Never know until you try, mate. Never know until you try. Fire in the morning. You can hear it, it's still damp, isn't it? But well, hopefully, that's it, mate. And if not, I'll whack it all on and I'll use a fire gel. No, it seems to be growing. Was it a lot of them 
books that I got, that a lot of it was all dead. But I'm sure. I to get all the droids. So. As long as you hear that faithful snap, you're alright. You are. And you start off small <coughs> and build your way up. And what I was taught is if your fire's above your wood, you can add to it. So, start with a bit thicker. I should say carry on a bit thicker. It's gonna smoke the dampers houses. Oh, that's not the lighter. Let's see what we got. Well, I think she's a going. Sizzling as it's damp. Yeah. Uh, smoking that camera. I bet if I put the light on it will. Yeah, okay, that's just white. See uh, everywhere I move it follows. <laughs> That's what it is, isn't it? Even the smoke dogs, man. Well, she's slowly going, mate. Yeah. She is. Nah, I'm not worried anyway. Yeah. Not worried at all. <coughs>
sit there in front of that. Because it's too hot. So for dinner, I'm cooking mini tatties, onions, garlic, peppers, and I'm doing a steak. Potatoes, onions, garlic, peppers, and I'm cooking it all. And we just had a rude phone call off our rude best mucker. He don't watch this anyway. You better watch it. <laughs> I'll give him a slap. I've only got 35 subscribers. <laughs> You better be in here. Yeah, the wire. The wire. Uh, they need burning stars. Help me, I'm only a little. Uh. So, yeah, there's our dinner. We've had a good drink. A little bit. A little bit. Uh oh. Yeah, a little bit. He's done about the room. Pass me your room. Oh! He's done uh, the bottle. And shit to do with me. Because <laughs> I ain't touched it. And you can't even say that. It literally haven't. Yeah, I literally <laughs> haven't. Sambo! Well, bring you back for dinner. Sambo snoring. You know what, mate? My man. Who do you mean? All right, we're back to the show. He says. So. Sambo trucks your plate mate, come on. Got it. Want some more tatties? No, I'm good mate. Oh, right, there they So. Steak one. Number two. 
so right, I'm going to get this down us, and then chance out it'll be knockout time in bed. too many shots before bed. We was a bit uh, intoxicated last night, but he was. A little. I was babysitting. <laughs> but uh, when when you get up in the morning, you do that dreaded check your phone. Sam's got some video calls. Uh, the boss, <laughs> Big Bill. <laughs> I missed the call after the missus because I was uh, sleeping like a little pretty princess. <coughs> but the time now, 8 o'clock, we've been up since half 7, see, so no, we went to bed early, and we were up early, I would say we're fighting fit, sitting pretty, but we're not, so I think the plan is I'm going to build myself up to climb in there, and get my brew kit out, get kettle on, and then I need to go to the toilet. With red wine and all that food last night. Because Sam couldn't eat all these. He decides he's going to throw it everywhere. Throw it everywhere. Except it's his face. Yeah. yeah. Mate, you sat there trying to eat the steak. He just like picked it up and started chewing on it. <laughs> and he just started doing all this. Oh, no, no, no. So, that's what happens when he sits there and does a bottle of rum in like three drinks. <laughs> and he goes, he's well proud of himself because he's done a bottle of rum by himself. So, mate, it, it's a creepy drink. He'll get you. Then before you know it, as you'll see in the clip, <laughs> he's asleep, sat up, with his legs crossed like he's at school. I was, I was deep in thought. Deep in thought. <laughs> uh, when I got the trial cam and uh, nothing on it, Sam baited up with some pasty. But even Sam said the, the pasty's nasty. So yeah, it's funny what stuff we all have. Foxes didn't like it. So I'll be that or they was living off Sam's steak and potatoes he was throwing everywhere. Dirty <laughs> <laughs> word. I'm sorry, it made my night. I had my fill. I did. 
Yeah, just throwing the misses. You know, there's like loads of things you just don't remember. Like apparently we had a conversation at 8 o'clock in the night. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I can't remember that one. <laughs> but man, what a beautiful wood. Yeah, it is. You know, it's pretty. Didn't <coughs> nothing really, did we? Animals cutting about it, but no dog walkers. Uh, I'll definitely uh, come back here. I would. Next time I'm well, going to have a... Especially seeing how much the water's dropped. Yeah. Really That's dropped a good three foot there. Yeah. At least. Well, if not more down there. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but obviously last night I put that stick up there. And the water was right into it, but it's dropped right down. It's not up on the island no more. Okay, there. I did the time lapse right now. But you need to look at Sambo's face. Look at that innocent face. He's allowed to let his hair down once in a while. <coughs> <coughs> what a nightmare. <coughs> <coughs> and now I think I'm going to get naked. I'm going to have a swim. Just to wake myself up. Your flip. Sam's doing it. What's that? Get nice, I haven't got the armbands. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, fill up a caddy bag with air. Alright, oh, I'm gonna get this brew on, I think. Breakfast time, doing sausages and cheese cobs with a bit of brown sauce. And we've packed most of the stuff up, the shelter's down. Sam's just having a little spin. And I'm on breakfast duties. Because we're a bit hungry now. And I think we need to soak up a bit of that <laughs> ale. So I'm going to crack on with my sausages. I think Sam's going to have a little play in the river. And catch us a big, dirty zander. And yeah? i going to try. Alright, bring you back in a bit. Well, breakfast is served. Sausage, brown sauce and cheesy cobs. On a bite. Come strong. It's breakfast for winners. Hopefully this uh, sorts me out a little bit. Because it's a bit sore for some reason. Mmm. So I hold on the outside. <laughs> so I got on the inside. Can't <laughs> beat it. <laughs> Alright. We're going to eat this. Back up in Kauai. I'm going to have a wonder. Alright, that's it. LNT, leave no trace. We had the fire there somewhere. Obviously, just slept in this bit. And we're all clear. Taking the rubbish out. And everyone else's. And everybody else's. We cleaned up past the little bog rats that was there first. But look at that sun. Sunny. Eh? We're going to go and have a wonder now and have a walk around and find a, another spot for next time. Uh, we're still having a bimble. We're up on the canal this time. And then look, Martin, campsite. That's when we come up on the rubber dinghies. And this is where that girl was saying, you need to get off. It's a nice firing range and the firing, the flags are up. Mm -hmm. Okay, cooking me fry up, man. Bugger off. I shoot back. But look at that for a woodland, man. And we've just walked from the start of it down there. And it is massive, and it? Absolutely huge. The biggest woodland I've ever seen on a canal. It is, and trust the uh, the lads to own it. Eh? They, they need it, don't they? they do. Alright, stick with us. We're going that way. Well, we got to the pickup point, safe and sound. I tell you what, people around there live life, <coughs> man. It's beautiful. <coughs> so, while we wait for the girls to pick us up, I think Sambo's going to have a chuck, and I'm going to sit here and feel sorry for myself because I got a headache. <coughs> Get some water on board. So. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along. Until the next time. Ta-da.